Good morning, everybody. You are currently listening to a tall girl's podcast hosted by a tall girl named India. I am so happy you are here today listening to this episode. I just want to say before I get into talking about the topic that we're going to be discussing today, make sure that you follow me on my socials. If you want, of course, I'm not forcing you to do anything you don't want to do. Okay, we we don't do that here. <laughs> but if you do want to follow me on my socials at a tall girls podcast on Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest for almost daily, super relatable tall girl content and updates on the latest podcast episodes. Also, be sure to leave a review after tuning in, after tuning in, okay, keywords right there, and let me and the world (laughs) know how tall you are. Everything will be linked below, so after you finish listening to this episode, you can just go down to the description box, click on the links, and bada bing, bada boom, Mr. Worldwide stepped in the room, okay? I don't know what that was. Anyways, now today we are talking about something more on the serious side as you could probably tell by the title we're going to be talking about body image anxiety it's also known as body dysmorphic disorder or body dysmorphia but i like the term i like body image anxiety better okay well not like body image anxiety but the term i prefer that term i don't even like the term i just prefer that term over the other terms over over body dysmorphic disorder body dysmorphia i don't know i feel like there's a lot of ambiguity with those two terms you can you can't really tell exactly what it means what it is how it would make somebody feel i just feel like those terms are a little bit confusing using in a way so i prefer the term body image anxiety because it's easier to understand what the term means right off the bat once you hear it um and super duper quick disclaimer i want to do this because i'm trying to tell y'all i am not a mental health professional or really a professional I don't know. I'm just a 20 year old. I can't, I'm not really a professional or anything. I don't have the years on me and studies of anything, but especially like mental health disorders and psychology and all that. I have not even taken a psychology course as like a general course in college or high school or a prerequisite or anything. Like, I hate science for that matter. <laughs> But I am not a professional at all, mental health professional, psychology professional, any type of professional, and I'm not claiming to be one. I'm literally just simplifying what the internet is saying about these terms and just providing some tips from my own experience on how I deal with it and how you could possibly deal with it too. You know, I'm just sharing my experience so that if you want to give it a try, you can. Nobody's forcing you, but you can give it a try and see if it works for you. And if it doesn't, then don't do it. But if it does, then you can't do it. And that's all. All right. So what is body image anxiety or body dysmorphia? Well, according to a bunch of sources on Google that I literally just meshed together it's a condition where you literally can't stop thinking about one or more perceived flaws in your appearance and you feel so embarrassed and so ashamed and so anxious about it that not only does it negatively impact your outlook on yourself but it also impacts your social life Like you may avoid social situations and because of how you look or because of how you think you look, I should say, and you get such intense feelings of fear or panic and you can't eat, you can't sleep. It's just very, very intense. So if you're a tall girl listening to this, what does that look like in a tall person? It can usually, a lot of times it has to do with long limbs of any sort long limbs is probably one of the most common parts of being tall that 
gives the tall people population some type of shame or anxiety with me i would definitely feel a lot of anxiety more so i don't think my long legs really did that to me um i more so found my legs annoying at first i mean i still kind of do but i mean hey you gotta love them right i used to find the long legs annoying because it's like um, accidentally kicking people or tripping people or i'm in the back of a car and the front car seat is like on my knees and i'm super uncomfortable it hurts and yada 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 i would more so get that from my long arms <laughs> um because the, it was just extremely extremely awkward and of course this took place especially when i was younger because i did not grow into my body i could not have grown into my body i did not have the years on me quite frankly so it just felt like extra weight on my body if that makes sense like it felt like it was pulling me down um it, i felt like it looked really awkward i feel like the best way i can describe it is i felt like slenderman slenderman obnoxiously long limbs that just it looks really weird <laughs> it looks really weird it looks really creepy and i would flail them a lot so i'm like accidentally hitting people and then people get mad at me because they think it's on purpose like no like i'm just trying to stretch i'm just trying to have some type of reaction to something and i don't know i can't control my long limbs but and also there was like another thing that I, I used to compare my arms to other people's arms. It's so weird. So something that I noticed is that people's arms in relation to their waist. So a lot of people's arms, especially like shorter people or people of average height, their like wrist was not that much past their actual waist bone. You know what I mean? their wrist was like you know like a little bit or maybe like two or three inches below their waist bone and at that time at that age period it just looked very very normal but my arms like my elbows were close to like my wrist is way past my waist line waist bone whatever and my elbows was close to my waist and i really did not like that i did not have like how it looks because it didn't look like everybody else's and I'm like oh my gosh like everybody can tell that my arms are obnoxiously long so much longer than everybody else so i would definitely feel a lot of shame for that and i would feel a lot of anxiety from that because i used to compare my arm the length the literal length of my arms to everybody else's arms now back to the topic at hand just wanted to show a couple examples of what it looks like in a tall person and share my experience but now i want to talk about why i brought up this topic i brought it up because a lot of you guys are actually you know bringing to my attention that you're back in school and people whether it's other students or even the teacher which if it is a teacher that is just that's terrible by the way like please report them or something like especially if you feel uncomfortable with their comments like get rid of them get them fired okay but people at school are making fun of your height and these comments can all add up and actually lead to body image anxiety and you know before the school year gets like super intense and people are already kind of feeling the add up the pile up of these comments and don't know what to do about it i just wanted to talk about ways that you can cope with it and yeah i think that's just really really important and you know when you do research on how to Hope with these things like you go on the internet even like scrolling through tiktok sometimes i mean tiktok definitely has its pluses and you can get some good tips from there i got some of my best hacks from there i learned a lot of great things from there but honestly i feel like mm, 60 55 55 to 60 percent of the time the media just spews out absolute crap the media really pushes things like 
practicing self-care, engaging with nature, moving your body. And yes, these are all important, but I believe that it's also, it's they're more of a distraction. These tips are more of a distraction rather than actually trying to fix the problem itself or trying to dig in deep to the root of the problem, find out what the root of the problem actually is. You know what I mean? And just trying to change your thoughts, you know? They just distract you from you know, the negative feelings that you're feeling, the negative thoughts that you're thinking because you're focusing on other activities, if that makes sense. So let's say moving your body, you decide to go to the gym instead of thinking about, oh my gosh, like my legs are so long and uh, I'm just so much taller than everybody else here. You're just focusing on, I don't even know how to use this machine. Like, how do I use this machine? It just offers a distraction rather than actually trying to face the problem. So one thing that I definitely want to say is get to the root of the problem. Like what is actually causing these negative thoughts? Like, is it the people you're around? Is it the shows that you're watching? The media that you're consuming? Like actually come face to face with your negative thoughts. And I also do want to bring up like kind of a strategy that I use when I have these like little anxious moments when I had and I mean I still have it just not as much as before but I do want to bring up a strategy that I use because if if you're feeling anxiety it's it's hard to really just you know sit down and just think about what do I do about this? What do I do about that? Because there's just so many thoughts running in your brain over and over and over again. It just feels overwhelming. So if you're feeling anxiety about body image, like the anxiety coming on, try brain dumping. I find that to be an effective strategy. Anxiety, like I said before, fills our brain with so many thoughts at one time that it's just too much it's too much and now in this case so many thoughts about you know negative body image bad things that you're thinking about your body and getting them down like physically on a piece of paper can help you so much yes i'm talking grab some computer paper and let it all out and realizing all of the crap that actually goes through your brain this is the coming face to face with the negative thoughts you're literally face to face with them and that's what i was talking about before coming face to face with it like now you're actually face to face with it because you wrote it all down on a piece of paper i want you to write down each thought that is running through your brain and replace it with the opposite so example If you're tall and you wrote, I'm lanky and goofy as one of your thoughts, cross that out, big X, scribble, whatever you got to do, and write next to it, I am strong and stable. And even do that for the positive thoughts too. Yes, for those two. For example, if you wrote, everyone says I'm hot, cross that out and replace it with, Some people don't find me attractive. Now, why do this? Why also cross out the positive thoughts? Because when you're done with all the replacements, writing out all the replacements, and you look back at this list, you will see that this is what a healthy brain looks like, a healthy mind looks like. It's filled with both positives and negatives. Too much bad is not good, just like too much good is not good. It's a balance. You have to have both and you don't have too much of either. It's also called staying humble, okay? We all need to stay humble. Yes, we want to think highly of ourselves, but we don't need to get to the point where we're arrogant and then we're stepping on other people's toes. We don't need that. Staying humble is also very, very important in my eyes. But yeah, I definitely recommend trying that activity out of brain dumping and seeing how you feel. A lot of people do that with journaling, just like saying how they feel. But I think that 
being able to just write down what you're thinking can get like you can get a clearer picture of what's actually going through your head and another thing actually when i was looking at ways to cope with body image anxiety i saw something that was like yeah don't hang around people who hate your body type and i was like are there people out there who hate people simply because they're tall i've never heard of that i've only heard comments like haha you're so lanky or they called me beanstalk but never has anyone said to me i hate you because you're tall that's so weird <laughs> but yeah definitely do not hang around people who are bringing you down that's what i definitely want to say but try the brain dumping thing you can even take that list tape it on your wall look at it every day and be like yes like i am strong and stable some people don't find me attractive but that's okay i will find the people who find me attractive and want to be around me point blank period great reminder great thing to wake up to and if you try it out let me know what you think about it did you like it did you not like it did it work for you i'm genuinely curious to know if it worked for anybody else you know on top of all the things that you probably have on your busy day so i'm just gonna end this episode here thank you so so much for listening to this episode i really do appreciate it and i really do appreciate you as always feel free to hit me up on my socials at a tall girls podcast on instagram pinterest and tiktok and let me know what you thought of this episode like was this helpful for you was it not helpful did you learn something new do you want to give the brain dumping thing a try did you already give the brain dumping thing a try and it worked for you or it didn't work for you just let me know hit me up even let me know how you're doing and how school's going. Yes, if you need to talk about school, if you need to rant about school, yeah, I'm always down for that. I'm always down for ranting about school. Hit me up, you know. You have you have my deets. They're linked below, okay? Um, also, feel free to leave, leave me a review letting everybody know what you think about this podcast and let everybody know how tall you are, too. I'm actually interested to know how tall my audience is. I'm going to stop rambling here. Just want to say before i you know leave you are awesome you are amazing and you are enough you are beautiful you are lit you are cool and i look he vibe with you okay i'm gonna let you guys go here and i will catch you in the next one good night and goodbye